This video explains how to create a table by group using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example, and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with the lines one and two of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame is appearing at the top right, which is called data. And then we can print this data frame to the RStudio console by running line three of the code. And then you can see at the bottom that we have created a data frame containing 10 rows and two columns. The column X contains the letters A and B and the column group contains a group indicator. Now we could calculate a frequency count table based on the column X1 without any group elements using the table function as you can see in line 5. So in this line of code I'm applying the table function to our data frame column x and I'm storing the output of this in a new table object that I'm calling tab no group. So after running line 5 of the code you can see that this table object is appearing at the top right and we can print our table to the RStudio console by running line 6 of the code and then you can see that we have created a table containing the columns A and B and both of these elements are occurring five times in our data. So if we want to add a group to this table, then we can apply the table function once again as you can see in line 8 of the code. And in this line of code I'm specifying the group column in our table object and in addition to that, I'm specifying the X column that I have already used in the previous line of code. And as in the previous line of code, I'm assigning the output of the table function to another data object that I'm calling tab with group. So after running line 8 of the code, another table object is appearing at the top right. And we can print our new table to the RStudio console by running line 9 of the code. And now you can see that we have created a table with groups, more precisely with the groups A, B and C. And for each of these groups, I have created a table based on the values A and B. So for instance, the letter lowercase a is appearing twice in the group uppercase a. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.